So, where are we finding ourselves today? We're almost at Daytona Beach. Mm -hmm. The sun was out. It's not out no more. I feel like, oh my god, look at that That's car. A sick car yeah. That Batman. Oh, you can't fucking fuck it. it. You can't see it. This, they have a lot of fucking, they love cars out here in Daytona. I'm, I'm finding out. Um, yeah, dude has Batman. Insert clip here. <laughs> there you go. That's hilarious. But yeah, you know. Maybe he's handicapped. It's <laughs> the handicapped Batman. Yes, we're almost to Daytona Beach. We're going to be here for, I think, one night. Yeah. Do some uh, photo shoots on the beach tomorrow. Check out. Nice. Check out Daytona. See what they got going on tonight. We checked out how we saw what Gainesville had going on last night. She was a little hungover. I was a little drunk. Yo, little, there. you were a lot of drunk. I said I that was, your Instagram story last night. I was like, a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> it was humping you with clothes on. It was fun. Yeah. They love that Instagram. shit. If you, and I, if you know, you know. You were there. <laughs> if you know, you know. But, yeah. So, stay tuned, man. We got some shit going on we got some shit going we're on basically florida tour. basically we're doing a florida tour now <laughs> you know and look another fucking subway if i see one more fucking subway oh the bridge is coming up I'm ready to go have some motherfucking pizza. We ready for some pizza? Yeah. I'm hungry as shit. This ready? Better be good pizza, yeah. Zach. Better be good fucking pizza, bro. <laughs> if not, let me we know. need to do food yeah. review videos. Yes, that's show. what we gotta do. We okay. gotta do. I'm gonna do a food. I'm gonna do a food review. Oh yeah, we did. I'm gonna do a food review on this fucking pizzeria. Okay. Yep. Wherever the fuck he's taking us. <laughs> So this place reminds me of Jersey a lot. The shop that we were just in, like of course we got some stuff, you know? We got some matching stuff, so it's super fucking cute. We were walking by like, oh shit! We have to fucking get that. It's really like, oh my god, right? Yeah, that restaurant huh? bar and grill looks kinda lit right now. Yeah. See? Back matching. Here. Matching shit, look. Would y'all get? I'm. I'm not. I wouldn't get on some shit like that. I thought I was like daring and shit, but. Maybe. Are we set up Cecilia's? They have pizza in there too, and they've got live music. Let's see. Check it. Yeah, there's a lot to do in there yeah. too. So the pizza place was closed, by the way. Just, just an FYI. Whatever. This what it is. But we're gonna check out that place over there. What happened? Oh, okay. Oh, for real? Okay. Right. I like this vibe out here. It's very nice. It's very, like, it's very clean. Monica has to deal with me being a fucking tourist. Monica, baby, that ass looking nice. She don't even hear me. I said that your ass was looking nice. <laughs> Look at how happy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, yours is your. Listen, equally as nice. Your titties are tittying too. We're gonna go on here, right, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna go down here. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, no problem. Thank you. 
I'm such a water sign. I truly love the fucking beach. It's so cute. We are here at Zeno's. I saw this place last night, but they were closed. Homemade candies and chocolate and all that. And it smells so fucking good in here. We are gonna... It smells like a bakery straight up. Like, Bath and Body Works, they got nothing on this place. But anyway, let's pick some. Well, we started picking some. not gonna lie. Look how many fucking... Oh, creamsicle, bitch. We got a creamsicle. Yes. Actually, great. We're grabbing a few at a time, a few handful. S'mores. What do you? Oh yes, s'mores. absolutely s'mores. Let's do this. Let's take it just a handful, right? We love me some s'mores. Love us some s'mores. Cheesecake top shelf, right here. What the? Oh yes. Well, I'm a little short, so there's that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What else? Oh, sex on the beach. We got. Yeah, where where are they at? Okay. Um, sex on the beach. Strawberry, yeah. <laughs> we need sex on the beach. Yeah. Oh yeah, strawberry daiquiri. Fucking fire! Oh my god, so many. Oh, I want to see the manatees and the fucking dolphins. Oh, how cute! Got a shit ton of tours out here. Okay. We try to be on a yacht this summer. Boats and hoes. It's decent out here right now for February, I guess. But uh summertime, no, this is where you gotta be at. It turned out to be a beautiful day after all. I've never been to St. Pete. I just stuck my feet in the water. It's a little cold, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not freezing, but it's also like very clear. I fucking love clear water. I like St. Pete. I can't wait to come out in the summer, you know, when it's actually fucking hot and I can be a slut in my bikini and have a good fucking time. Beautiful St. Pete Beach. At sunset, like this is just breathtaking. Can't wait to come back out here in the summertime. Then it gets a little bit warmer. It's very nice out. It's pleasant. The water is fucking cold, but I'm still walking in it because I guess it's not that bad. But I really like I like St. Pete. I really do. We're gonna make summer moves out here. <laughs> Look at Monica. <laughs> She's getting me and I'm getting her. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to good old Bayside. I haven't been here in a minute, like since last summer, I think. And it's fucking chilly out here today, especially for Miami standards. Um, and yeah, it's just different. I come out here in the summer where it's blazing fucking hot. Mojito bar. What we gonna get out here? Everything's colorful, even the floors. I haven't been over here in so long. It's beautiful though, I love the vibes. That's Planet Hollywood right there. I was a little confused at first, but. It's busy as shit, that's for sure. Friday night. I have no idea. I'm kind of just walking around. There's mad stores. Oh, there's an AMC over there. That's lit. We'll see what I'm going to eat and what stores I'm going to go to. Okay, so here we are at the M&M store. And this place is M&M's on steroids. And I don't know about you, but I personally do the peanut. So I'm going to go a little crazy right now. But this store 
It's a fucking vibe. This looks so fucking good and it smells so good too. Like, oh my god, I can't wait. It should be really good. Well, I have made it to Georgia. We are somewhere. Let me get in the right fucking lane. That'd be great. Let me get right in this middle soft spot. Anyway, um, yeah, I have made it to Georgia. And um, it's really a lot of fucking farm. And it's nice, you know, as I say. Oh, look adult store. I actually have to go to a sex shop. Funny enough, but I'll just wait till I get closer to Atlanta. That's where I'm driving to. The first stop of my Florida to NJ part of my tour. Florida is already behind me. Um, for now, I'm gonna be coming back to Florida very fucking soon. But, um, yeah. Just wanted to show you some farm. Stopped at the Magnolia Plantation and Apparently, Georgia is known for their nuts, so they have pecans, peanuts, and all kinds of chocolate, and it looks so fucking good. All of it. You can't go wrong with coconut patties. Got some stuff. Just have, oh my god, like so much stuff. I didn't even go to the back yet. Hello, hello. We are doing shit ghetto style. Um, I had a little piece, like to hook my phone up. I don't know where the fuck it is. As you can see, I got boxes behind me, so my life is just a hot mess, but, um, driving through Georgia right now, and it's fucking, it's a beautiful day, it's kind of windy, um, but it's beautiful, it's like 73 degrees, so February, I really can't complain about that, you know, um, I'm taking my sweet time driving up to Atlanta, I'm just kind of going with the vibes, I stopped at this, uh, you know, they have lots of stores, and Georgia's known for their pecans and peanuts and shit so like i stopped at the store i got some stuff of course of course i did why wouldn't i right um and yeah and i actually saw because i'm thinking in my head i need to go to a sex store again right uh and i saw a fucking billboard for a sex store in like 20 exits so i'm gonna stop off so that's one less thing i gotta do when i get into the city i'm about uh two and a half hours out um, I also gotta stop at the beauty supply store, but I'll do that when I get closer. I'm, I'm in the fucking country, bro. It, it reminds me so much of Texas, so it's like kind of used to it a little bit. Um, it's nothing new to me, really, but, you know, I was in real country territory in that store. And it was nice, though, don't get me wrong. They had all kinds of syrups and sauces and all, all kinds of stuff, so. And I'm, they, they got my ass. I bought some stuff. <laughs> The bathrooms are very clean. I'm gonna start reading like bathrooms and shit because not all of them are terrible, but I've driven enough where I can start doing that. I can just start reading gas stations. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Just trying to do some, attempting to do some vlogging during this trip. And it's so beautiful outside right now. You can't see shit. I don't know why I did that, but sun is shining. And I am just a few hours outside of Atlanta. Um, oh, let me see what's Adult Superstore. Yeah, and a few exits. All right, bet. So, yeah, every now and then I'll chime in and, you know, say how's it going. And Because trip, trip has been crazy. And this is just like the start of my trip going from south to north. So, we're going to see where this journey brings me. I have a lot of plans and... A lot of stuff that isn't planned. <laughs> and that's just how these trips are. And they always work out for the best. So I will tune in, um, I don't know, maybe later or something. Show you how my cute hotel room. Hopefully it is cute, you know. I've been having misses with that. But we'll see, we'll see. So I will catch y'all later. This is nice as fuck, though. It's nice, but holy shit. A lot of walking. Fail to tell me this shit. Well, I couldn't spoil the surprise. The, the surprise, yes. Yes, this is a surprise. Indeed. What's this called again? This is, we're somewhere oh, like, a, yeah, we're somewhere fucking 
east of Atlanta. I want to keep saying north, but definitely not in the city no more. I was in the hood earlier, and now we're in the country country. He likes country. So this is the scenario for today. <laughs> Stop it. You stupid. <laughs> If you guys are in the Atlanta area, make sure you come by Empower Atlanta. There goes my friend. He's always hard at work. <laughs> it can't, I haven't been here in like what? A few years. And it's changed a lot. All for the better. And y'all should really come through. You can go back there. Get all your stuff taken care of. And also the best part is you don't have to live in Atlanta. Um... I get tested. I've been getting tested through Empower for over a year now. He sends you all the stuff you need and you can go get your swabs and all that done, um, no matter where you live. So make sure you contact him for all your testing needs. I just want y'all to see how beautiful Virginia is without me fucking crashing because it's two little lanes. Um, this reminds me a lot of PA. For fucking sure, and Northern NJ, where it's country as fuck. Um, yeah, that's what this is giving right now. Um, realistically, if I closed my eyes or didn't know, I would think I was in PA. Um, so, I am in the fucking country. I barely have motherfucking service, but it is beautiful. I'm getting some great views along this route. That is for damn sure, and that is what I was looking forward to. So yeah, um, I just made it to Virginia maybe about 30 minutes ago or so. I crossed the border. I uh, spent some time in North Carolina. I am trying to do better to pick up my phone on these uh, drives because as you know, I'm stopping going. Um, I just came from seeing my childhood best friend. It's actually his birthday today. It's just crazy how timing worked out. Pisces season, I'm telling you. We got the best fucking people. So I am so happy that i spent some quality time with him even if it was just for like a day and a half um you know he lives in north carolina in the raleigh area so i stopped up after atlanta it was about five and a half hours to get from atlanta to him um i really have uh, underestimated the south and how fucking big it is down here and how far it takes to get from each city and shit you know but like i said i'm here for the views i'm gonna do hopefully a better job along the route because i still got you know a few more stops to make i am going right now to see leah cannot wait to see her she's in virginia so you know and i have to go to dc anyway this weekend for a shoot so it just worked out like perfectly like where my friend is at my best friend is at uh and then where she is it's like right above like north so i've literally I've just been driving through the country. I've just been going north. So, yeah, so far so good. I've had a very, very smooth drive. I am already, like, statistically speaking, hourly speaking, whatever you want to call it, I am already way more than halfway point um, back to Jersey. I actually hit the halfway point in North Carolina at my friend's house. So now I am much closer to jersey than i am to florida and yeah so so far everything's been real like pleasant nothing nothing bad has happened you know um it's been you know it's just been nice it's been nice to be by myself and be in my own thoughts and just enjoy the moment and enjoy the beautiful scenic routes that it's been taking me and yeah to fucking chilling, listening to music, stopping and smoking, <laughs> making stops at like fucking pit stops, and I like stuff like that, and that's why I was very excited for this drive. Um, I know some people were like, "Oh, you're fucking crazy for driving um, by yourself all the way from Florida to Jersey," but it's really not that bad, especially when you have friends along the way that you can stop by and see. Like that's been a blessing. Uh, I wish I got more footage of Raleigh. Um, and I want to come out and spend more time, and I will, because my friend lives there, so... Oh, fucking terrible lighting, but anyway, that's what shadows do and shit. But, uh, yeah, so I want to come back out, 
definitely give uh, Raleigh another chance. But the food that we ate yesterday, we ate at a restaurant, a black-owned restaurant. Fucking amazing. The best collard greens I ever had, okay? So, while I'm in the South, I was like, I want some Southern comfort food. And I sure as fuck got it. It was so good. So, and I like that whole atmosphere. Like, the whole place was really cool. I loved all the paintings and stuff like that. So, I want to come back down to Raleigh. And I want to check out Charlotte as well. So, that was actually my first time really, like, staying in North Carolina. Like, usually I just have uh, passed through it or whatever. But, um, and now I'm going to Virginia. Which is, looks very similar to, <laughs> um, fucking North Carolina. Brother neighbors, so. Yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I am going to keep this vlogging thing going. I'm just driving along the country and shit. So, yeah, if there's anything else that I see along the route, I will definitely record it. Um, but, yeah, I am on my way to Virginia. Well, I'm in Virginia. I'm on my way to my friend's house. And I will be here. I will. She's leaving tomorrow, so... I'm going to spend some time with her this evening and tomorrow morning. We're going to get breakfast and stuff. Um, see if maybe she wants to get in on this little bit of vlogging with me. I would love that. And, yeah, then tomorrow uh, afternoon I'm going to head to D.C. So we are just making stop after stop, enjoying ourselves, eating good, seeing friends, making content, doing a whole bunch of shit. So I will see you guys in my next segment on the road again we are on day 25 no i don't i don't fucking know what day we are but uh what they were on uh but yeah so i left my friend leah's house i love her so so much um we spent some time together we went on to eat last night we got a little i'm gonna say drunk but well she did <laughs> i had two drinks i was feeling a little sauce but um you know we had a good time i, had, I haven't seen her honestly since last summer and it's just crazy how like how fast time goes so i spent the night in charlottesville virginia and now i'm on my way to dc i'm about a little less than an hour away i'm gonna actually try to see if i get these nails done because they may look cute but some of them are falling off <laughs> or want to fall off and um just goes to show how long i've been on the road so hopefully i can find a spot to do my nails real quick um and I'm going to chill for the night. I might head out. See what the fuck is going on with DC on a Friday night. But we'll see. Um, excuse me. And then tomorrow I have a shoot. I'm very excited. We've been discussing it for a while. So it's going to maybe be, maybe be a little St. Patrick's green theme. We'll see. Um, that's what I'm hoping to get my nails done. Like green. Lime green. So, Yeah. But um, this trip has been going very, very well. Honestly, I just wanted to come in and say like, you know, cause it's like, why wouldn't you just fly? But like for me, I'm finding that, yes, I know I'm by myself and driving could be a pain in the ass and there could be traffic and all this other shit, right? But like, luckily I am blessed. I am beyond blessed that I have a very, very good car, a reliable vehicle to make this trip. Cause if not, um, I couldn't even do this right so and and I, I just like to be able to stop take my time smoke have my car messy and shit like you know because some people are like why don't you just fly and take a rental nah it's not the same it's not the same like I pay a lot of bills with this car why the fuck would I want to rent something unless I'm going to be like somewhere really far you know what I mean like west coast or whatever I'm not driving all the way the fuck out there I'm not doing that but what I've come to realize is that this drive to Florida Jersey to Florida it really isn't bad because I'm already almost in D.C., so I'm already basically almost home. I'm only a few hours outside of D.C., so it's really not that bad. I was very curious to see how this trip was going to go, to see if I could even be able to make the trip back down, which I got to do in uh, less than two weeks. Yep, we are going to the Keys for my birthday, and we're celebrating mine and Rizzy's birthday. That's going to be a great fucking time. But before that, I am planning my gangbang scene for my birthday. It's going to be filmed in South Florida. So I'm going to be in the area anyway. And I just figure it's just a lot easier to take my car. It's a lot easier to get around, especially that we're going to be driving around to a couple places. You know what I mean? So 
yeah, that's that that's gonna be the vibes. I cannot wait. I am very very excited for my birthday this year. Like a lot of times, I'm gonna say I'm not, but this year I'm especially excited. So just trying to coordinate all the details and you know get the Airbnbs together and all that shit. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be so fucking fun. Like <laughs> you guys have no fucking idea what you what you're in for, what I'm in for, what you're in for. <laughs> And yeah, I just, I like to, so anyway, back to like the whole trip thing. I just like to be able to take my time with places, have my car fucking messy if I want to. Like, you know, I'm already paying the note and the insurance on this bitch. So might as well put it to good use. And this person is swerving like a son of a bitch. Let me tell you, driving in the country is fucking different. But that's another thing. I love to like experience just driving. I've never done this drive before. So it's been interesting to see different parts of the south and now we're in the north again so it's just very interesting to see the transition and the changes you know like i like it some people don't like road tripping i do i don't mind this trip by myself um of course if it was further out like driving to texas that was not it i would not <laughs> I'm drive all the way to texas by myself that's not happening but florida to jersey is really not that bad um and the fact that i've been able to make all these cute little stops in between and see some friends and just experience things and live in the moment has been like top tier like you know can't can't be beat so i'm just extremely blessed this trip has gone extremely well for me and um yeah so i'm gonna be in dc in less than like 30 minutes or so i'm gonna find the nail salon hopefully and um yeah i will keep y'all posted with how the weekend is going Hello, party people. Yo, I was kind of slacking um, with driving and recording, right? Uh, and I'm so fucking tired. I just made it into Jersey like 10 minutes ago. Um, but for the for like the purpose of this video, I didn't want to like just leave the vlog like hanging like that from where I last left off. You know, uh, I went to PA for about two nights. I spent the uh, the night, two nights, <laughs> with my friends Jess and Flex, they're fucking awesome, and like I told you guys, like I've been saying this whole time, is that the beauty of this trip has been just being able to take my time, and, you know, visit and see people that I haven't seen in a long time, and reconnect with people, and everything just has went super smooth, everything's been great, so this trip, uh, it showed me a lot, you know, doing this by myself, driving all the way from Florida to Jersey, and, you know, all the stops in between, but I'm very grateful, like I said, everything went extremely smooth, I don't have anything really bad to say, and took the braids out, yup, hair's like a little ratchet right now, but, um, we're getting there, you know, I gotta get my braids done for my birthday, and guess the fuck what, I am making the same drive to florida except mine is all the stops um next week for my birthday crazy craziness i'm coming back up here for a little bit literally to say hi and bye but it's fine um and yeah i'm just driving like a fucking animal on the turnpike because i'm back back in jersey for a little bit and yeah oh my fucking god i hate getting behind slow people but yeah you know, had a great time, and I'm gonna have an even better time for my birthday. I'm so fucking excited, but I just wanted to kind of put an end to this little road vlogging that I did. Um, hopefully, I put together this YouTube video and it comes out somewhat decent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do another travel vlog because this this already was a lot, but. Yeah, I, I have so much shit I'm looking forward to. I'm just so fucking tired right now. So, thank you for taking the time to watch all this shit. It's been adventurous. It's been it's been quite some fun. So, I will chat with you guys in whatever the fuck I decide to record next. I know I have to do a whole bunch of BTS for my birthday. Because that shit's going to be crazy. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. And, yeah. We're in fucking Pisces season. Let's fucking get it.